Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise, and this is the continuation video of ratio analysis. So far, we have discussed profitability ratios and turnover ratios. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to see solvency ratios, otherwise called as financial ratios. Okay, so solvency ratios are classified as short term solvency, long term solvency, and overall solvency. Okay. Now we are going to see the numerical problem for the first one that is short term solvency. See the problem. You are given the following information. Cash, debtors, closing stock, bills payable, creditors, outstanding expenses, prepaid expenses, tax payable. With this information, they are asking you to calculate current ratio, liquidity ratio and absolute liquidity ratio. Okay. So these are the three ratios which comes under short term solvency. Okay. Now let's see the solution. See the solution. First we are going to find out the current ratio. Okay. So this is the formula to find out the current ratio. The formula is current assets divided by current liabilities. Okay. Just find out the current assets total and current liabilities total and just apply the formula to find out current ratio. See the problem. Just figure out the current assets and current liabilities. Okay. The first one cash 20,000 current assets, debtors 1,44,000 current asset, closing stock 1,82,000 current asset, bills payable 29,000 current liability, credit cost 52,000 current liability, outstanding expenses 17,000 current liability, prepaid expenses 2,000 current asset, tax payable 70,000 current liability okay now see the solution we have calculated current assets and current liabilities so current assets total 348000 current liabilities total 168000 okay now substitute the value in the formula to find out current ratio okay so how much current assets 348000 divided by total current liabilities how much 168000 so what is the answer 2.07 times. So, this is the current ratio. Okay. Now, see the problem. We have calculated current ratio. Now, we are going to calculate the second one. Liquidity ratio. Okay. See the solution. Liquidity ratio. Okay. The formula is liquid assets divided by current liabilities. Okay. So, this is the formula to find out liquidity ratio. So, there is a difference between liquid assets and current assets okay so how to calculate liquid assets so there is a formula to find out liquid assets so liquid assets is equal to current assets minus stock and prepaid expenses okay so in our problem we have stock and prepaid expenses no see the previous calculation so these are the current assets no so in this we have closing stock as well as prepaid expenses so just subtract these two figures uh, in order to find out the liquid assets. Okay. And after finding the liquid assets, you can take the current liabilities as it is. How much current liabilities? 1,68,000. Then you will be getting liquidity ratio. Okay. So how much current assets? 3,48,000. No. So 3,48,000 minus stock and prepaid expenses. Stock how much? 1,82,000. Prepaid expenses 2,000. So, total 1,84,000. Subtract this figure from 3,48,000. So, 3,48,000. This is current assets minus 1,84,000. Is equal to 1,64,000. This is liquid assets. Okay. Now, substitute the value in the formula. So, what is the formula? Liquidity ratio is equal to liquid assets divided by current liabilities. So, liquid assets 1,64,000 divided by current liabilities. See the previous calculations. Current liabilities 1,68,000. Answer. 0.98 times. So, this is liquidity ratio. Okay. Now, see the problem. So far, we have calculated current ratio and liquidity ratio. 
Now we are going to calculate absolute liquidity ratio. Okay. See the solution. The next one is absolute liquidity ratio. Otherwise called as super quick ratio or cash position ratio. Okay. So the formula is cash in hand plus cash at bank plus marketable securities. Okay. So these are the components which comes under cash position ratio divided by current liabilities. Okay. So in our problem we have only cash in hand. Okay. See the previous calculation under current assets we have only cash in hand. There is no bank balance and marketable securities in this problem. So we have to consider only cash in hand 20,000 divided by current liabilities. How much? 1,68,000. Cash in hand, 20,000 divided by current liabilities, 1,68,000 is equal to 0 0.12 times. So, this is absolute liquidity ratio. Okay. So, this is the way to calculate short term solvency ratios. That is current ratio, liquidity ratio and absolute liquidity ratio. In the next video, we are going to see long term solvency as well as overall solvency okay you can find the playlist link in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you